Hi, this is Lauren, and in this video, I will be showing you how to make your Milanote boards a bit more aesthetic or more customized to your style. Up on my screen here, I have Milanote. I'm actually logged into a test demo account. I'll be showing you my own setup here in a few moments, but in case you're brand new to Milanote or have just created an account, I wanna make sure that we all have the same starting point because this up on my screen is what you'll be seeing when you first start. So again, this tutorial is about customizing boards. So we need to get a board on the table. To do that, we simply come over here to this little left-hand board icon, and I'm going to click and drag anywhere on the screen and I'm actually going to title this bad boy delete because again, this is my demo account. You're gonna to wanna to type in whatever it is you're creating. So mood board, vision board, project plan, etc. And we're gonna hit enter. Now you can see right away, Milanote has assigned a completely random color for us and it's done its best to come up with an icon that it thinks fits that board name. To open this board, we're going to double click and now you're probably noticing this looks familiar. This is exactly the screen we just saw because by default, Milanote is always going to start us off with this sort of light gray canvas background when we create a new board. The other thing that happens when we create a new board is this template chooser in the bottom right hand corner comes up. Now, if you've watched other creators doing Milanote tutorials, this is where most of them focus their attention. And perhaps with good reason, because if I click in and scroll a little bit, you can see there are a bunch of different categories. Whether you're an architect, a podcaster, a game designer, they give you these very nice complimentary templates to kind of get you started. And the real benefit here is that unlike something like Notion that requires quite a bit of setup and learning curve, Milanote does its best to let you dive right in to the work itself. So let's start with one of those templates just to see what they look like. I'm going to give us something that anyone can use, whether you're using this for personal or professional use, anyone can make use of a weekly plan. So that's what I have on my screen now. And I am a sucker for this layout. I use it in my paper planners, my bullet journals, and my digital life as well. I like seeing my week kind of laid out in columns like this so I can kind of plan at a glance. So we're going to start with this template. I'm actually going to click this keep example content because it's going to serve as a point of reference for us later. If you're starting with one of Milanote's templates, I recommend not checking that because you're just going to have to go delete all their content, but I'm going to check it and hit use this template. And just like that, this template as is, is ready to start using. For example, if I want to add a to-do list on Tuesday, I can simply start typing like so. If say I want to move this Regent project plan to Thursday, I can do that. If I want to type a note to myself, I just double clicked anywhere on the screen and I can say, Hey, Lauren, your hair looks great. And now I can drag this into Thursday to remind myself before lunch with Michelle that my hair, in fact, does look great. So this is really the ease and beauty of Milano. It's a simple, you can start typing anywhere. They give you templates to start with, and you can drag anything anywhere on the screen. It's great. But I will admit, I don't love the look of this template. It's fine, but it's not cute. And I know there are plenty of people out there that would argue it's a tool. It's not supposed to be cute. It's supposed to get the job done. But here's my thing. I am way more likely to open a productivity app if I am excited to use it. And I'm way more excited to use it if it looks cute. So we're going to give this guy here on my screen a makeover. Let's hop over to my Melanote. So this is my actual account. We are no longer in test demo account land. And right away you can see things look a little different. So what I've done over the years is I've taken this screen, which is what I started with, and I have turned it into this. So you can see, yes, I'm very into neutrals. You don't have to go this route, but there's quite a bit you can do to kind of make it look more aesthetic. Uh, so what we're gonna do here though, is just show you how to create that exact same layout in the kind of style I have going on here. So once again, I'm gonna click over on board on the left and drag it into place. And because I know what we're creating now, I'm gonna give it a name weekly plan, December nine, I'm going to hit enter. And once again, they've given us a color and an icon. I'm guessing that W is because it's weekly plan, but to me, that looks kind of like the Wix or Weebly logo. I forget which, and I'm not loving it. So I would change this by clicking it once and I could start by changing the color. 
And that's looking a little bit better to me. That seems like it's matching kind of the aesthetic that I have going on here. I could again, click on that and change the icon to a calendar. And again, this is definitely an improvement, but you're probably noticing one of these things is not like the other. And that's because I'm a bit extra. I like to do custom icons for my board. I just think it looks cute. So to do that, I'm gonna click that once more. Again, I'm gonna click on icon, but this time I'm gonna come down here to upload image choose image. And I actually already have it up on my screen because I use Milano all day long. So I do this a lot, but I'm just going to choose maybe one of these at random. How about this beige cake? So already that's off to a good start. We went from this here in the demo account, the exact same functionality, but now it looks like this. So let's click into that. And you are, again, you're seeing this gray background that again is going to be the default. We unfortunately can't change the default color for our accounts yet. I have, however, removed the dot grid from the canvas. So if I come back to the demo account, if you have good eyesight and good screen resolution, you might notice that this canvas has a bit of a texture. That is what Milanote calls a dot grid. It's their default. I've changed off dot grid just on sort of my account wide settings, but in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to do that on a board by board basis so you can decide which look you like better. So what we could do is come over here and once again, type in the same weekly plan, just like so, and it would give us that exact same starting point as before. I could even not include the sample content and it would have that layout, but I'm actually not gonna do that. And I'll show you why in a second. I'm gonna start with an empty board. So now we have a completely blank board. The first thing that I want to do is change the background color. Cause again, we've got this gray going on, but if I come back here to my dashboard, you can see I've got kind of a, a warmer, um, off white color. If I come into my December mood board, I've got that same look. So yeah, they're both neutral, but this one feels warmer and more compelling to me compared to this, which feels like a cubicle. So I'm going to right click and go change board background. Before I forget this toggle here is how you can turn the dot grid on and off. I'm going to leave it off just because I prefer it. And to change the color, I'm going to say choose custom color. Now you've got a couple options. You can just start dragging this around. You know, we could go light purple like so until you find something you like. I actually always use the same hex code for my background. So I'm going to do that now if I could type correctly. There we go. And I'm going to hit enter a little plug on my website. I do sell custom neutral color palettes. So if you want to do sort of the neutral look that I'm going for here, but you don't have the hex codes, check out the link below and you can purchase a fun little guide or go the free route. They have some on Pinterest as well. Just type in neutral color palette. So now we've changed the background color and I need to start adding the actual elements because we're doing kind of that weekly column view. I'm going to drag a column into place and I'm simply going to type Monday. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to change the background color of this board because it's that very stark white. Sometimes I actually do like that, but for the sake of tutorial, let's make it a little bit softer. I'm going to again, do that same thing with the hex code. And once again, I'm going to change it to one of mine, one of my brand colors. And now you can see we're getting a, a different look already. It's got this kind of nice soft white color. I am now going to double click anywhere. Just like that, again, I have created a note. I will note for you guys that when you are in your view, you're also gonna have the option to drag the note into place. I've removed that from my sidebar just because I don't use it. I find it more intuitive to just click anywhere and start typing. But if you are liking the kind of drag and drop, what you wanna look for is note. So now we can start typing whatever we want. I'm gonna be setting up this weekly plan per my own kind of planning process, but you can make this very much your own, customize it to the way that your brain works and sort of the type of things that you need to include. But what I always start with is my priority for the day. So I'm actually gonna bring up my emoji keyboard here. I'm gonna use my trusty twinkle emoji and I'm gonna write priority like so. And now I'm gonna highlight that, come up to textile and you can see we have some options here. I'm going to go with normal setting and I'm going to drag that into place. The next thing I want to do is again, I'm just wanting to remove some of the harshness of these colors. So I'm going to come to custom color once more and you guessed it. I'm going to add another one of my colors. Actually, let's do Okay. So 
This is my look. It may not be yours, but again, I'm really liking how kind of warm and soft this looks compared to this, which is very stark white on top of that very cool gray. So this is my priority. This is the one thing I need to do each day. Next thing I'm going to do is click this box just like so. So it's outlined in black and I'm going to command C or control C and create a copy. I'm going to drag that into place. And next, what I like to do in my planning is I give myself a little carrot every day. So a little reward, a little incentive to get through all this stuff. So I'm going to actually just write carrot like so. And once again, I'm going to create a copy. The other thing I like to do is include my events. So I reference my Apple calendar and kind of pull out any of the events for the day that I want to make sure I see in this view. I know Notion and some other apps will actually sync your calendar. Melanote does not do that, but I'm actually going to pause here and say, I prefer that it doesn't. I like having to manually type in how I'm spending my time because it makes sure that I want to be spending my time that way. So I don't kind of go on autopilot. So yeah, it's redundant, but you know what? It takes about 30 seconds if that. So I'm actually going to hit enter on this one and I'm going to hit this little bullet point. And that way, when I add my events, they're just going to look kind of nice and tidy. I am going to repeat that process again, copying the events tab or the events card and I am gonna pull that into place. I wanna keep the bullet point because what I do with this one is a little notes and then I actually just type notes. And this is anytime I want a phone call and I need to like reference some sort of confirmation number or if an idea comes to me or there's a link I wanna save, I just dump it here into this notes card. The last thing we're going to add, almost last thing, is a to-do list. So I'm gonna drag that into place. I'm going to give it a title just so it matches the rest of things here and like so. Now I'm rather annoyed to have to inform you that in Millinote you can't change the background color of a to-do list card so I can't make it match these and that kind of bothers me but the best I can do is come up here to color and you can actually give it a top strip color as they would call it. So I actually don't like that color at all. I'm gonna use one of my own. You knew I was gonna do one of my own, didn't you? So I'm gonna go with one of my darker colors here. Where's my hex? There we go. And I'm gonna say, just a kind of nice brown to keep in with my warm neutrals here. And it also kind of creates delineation between that softer white and the very crisp white. Now, the last thing that I'm gonna do, this is solely optional, but this is really where the aesthetics come into play. I'm gonna add an image because I like to treat most of my boards and especially my planning boards as a bit of vision boards and mood boards as well, just to one, make them more visually compelling and also to kind of help get me excited about life. Like remember why I'm doing all this stuff. And in this case, I want to add a Christmas image because it's December and I am in that kind of festive mood. So you can add images from Pinterest or Pexels or Unsplash. I actually have a bunch already to go that I'm going to kind of dive into. We're going to go with a white Christmas theme here. And gosh, that piano is just so pretty. So I'm going to add that in at the bottom. Sometimes I put it at the top, but for now we'll put it there. So now I have kind of the template for my day. The reason that I didn't use the default weekly template, even though it's going to look sort of similar, is because had I gone that route, I would have then had to copy all these cards one by one and drag them over seven times. Once I've created one column the way that I want it, what I can do is copy and paste. And this is going to be Tuesday. I'm now going to copy both of those. And now I've created Wednesday and Thursday. You guessed it. Gonna copy two more. They only did Monday through Friday in the template, but I don't know about you guys. I like to plan my weekends as well. So I'm gonna do all seven days of the week, like so. And now I'm just gonna pinch on my keyboard. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. You can also zoom out up here in the upper right-hand corner by using this little zoom slider. And just to make sure the spacing is right, I'm gonna select all of those and I can come over here to alignment and do top align. That makes sure that they are all even at the top. And then I'm gonna say distribute. And you can see they moved a little bit, which ensures now they all have even spacing among them. I'm gonna zoom back in so you guys can better see what I'm doing. And I'm gonna pause here, a little bonus tip for you guys. If I were to come back to the home screen, 
right click onto this board, I could actually convert this into a template. And that way, anytime I create a new board, I have the option to create a board that looks just like this. Unfortunately, it's not gonna carry over the icon. I don't really know why Milano doesn't let you do that. So you're gonna have to upload that on a case by case basis, but you can at least use this format over and over very quickly and easily. So now I just wanna show you what it's gonna look like as I'm filling it out. So let's say my priority today is to record a Melanote video. My carrot is watch a Christmas Hallmark movie with a glass of wine. That actually is my carrot today, you guys. Um, let's say I have a haircut and 2 p.m. I have a podcast interview and let's say it's Sarah's birthday, but I really want to make sure that I don't miss Sarah's birthday. So I'm going to highlight that in pink like so. Notes, I'm going to have um, plants need water. And because that's not going to be on my mind, I'm going to come over here and, and for tomorrow's to-do list, say water plants and so on. Now I'm going to pause here and say, if you want to add things like meal plan or your exercise plan for the day, all uh, habit tracking, any of those, it's as simple as simply adding a new note. So if I did this and I say meal plan and I could say breakfast, lunch, dinner. And again, I'm just showing you this so you can really see how flexible Milanote is. And you don't even have to do this every day. So maybe Tuesday, you know, you're eating out. Maybe you know you're traveling Wednesday through Friday. You get the idea. But that's, you're not locked into these categories I showed you. Sky's the limit on what you can put into your weekly planner. Next, just to kind of show you how things can come along as you start customizing, I'm going to right click on this and say replace image. And I'm going to pick something new. And I'm just going to maybe move some of these around so it feels a little more organic. I'll say replace image again. We'll go with this wreath. And maybe I'm going to put the wreath like so. And this lovely looking cake. Pretty window. We'll leave that one at the bottom. So now this is how it's coming along, guys. And actually this pink is bothering me. I just don't like neutrals, or I don't like brights, I just don't. So I'm gonna highlight that in black instead. Now that's feeling more like me, but this is what I'm talking about. This is to me a aesthetic board in Milanote. This is a weekly plan that I would be excited to reference every single day. I'm gonna go ahead and compare it back here to this. Fine, functional, maybe you prefer this. Maybe the really stark minimal look is exactly what you're after. That's great, you can get started using this right away. But on the off chance you're like me, you want to make it your own, this is an example of how you can transform your Milanote board into something that is completely custom.